video is about uh, tips about surviving a heat wave or a hot weather day. Hello, my name is Sabine. I am a long time uh, solo traveler and I made already more videos with tips on preparing your holiday or travel or uh, tips that will make traveling easier. So you can watch the other videos too. You can subscribe, of course, to my channel if you want to, it's for free. So again, this video is about surviving a heat wave or hot weather day. First of all, it's of course drinking. You need to drink lots and lots of preferably water. Uh, I know it's tempting, but don't drink your drinks too cold because it will cause some stress to your body because your body is overheated and if you put in a lot of cold stuff it's not so good for your body so you think you feel better but it's actually not so so you can also uh, think about maybe preparing a tea and let it cool down a little bit so the temperature is a little bit uh, lower than hot and it's actually better for your body uh, to make sure that you can actually drink more it's also good to eat lots of fresh fruits they have like uh, a fruit juice so it's actually also uh, extra drinking on top of your uh, normal drinking protect your skin of course you want to wear some sunscreen but really try to use the good stuff that really hydrates uh, your skin because if you wear a lot of body lotion or a lot of um, sunscreen and it stays on top of your skin, it doesn't soak in, it actually layers up and you will feel more heated up. Uh, something else, of course, uh, that's maybe obvious, but uh, your clothes, what you wear, uh, you want to wear uh, light clothes, uh, also in light weight, but also in light bright colors because the dark colors attract the sun and uh, uh, more light colors so it doesn't necessarily have to be white but actually they uh, don't attract the heat uh, as you know maybe if you watch movies or something in the desert the people dress are really fully dressed so actually it feels weird but if you wear a t-shirt with long sleeve, the sun doesn't directly uh, come onto your skin. So actually it feels cooler if you wear uh, long uh, pants and long sleeves. It actually feels cooler than if you have shorts or like me now uh, uh, without arms sleeves. Because uh, then the sun is directly on your skin and you really feel more heated up. Uh, protection of course you want to use protection so maybe you want to put something on your hat you see it a lot uh, in Asia in countries that they actually use umbrellas to stay into uh, the shade of course you can also wear a hat or a, a baseball pad you also want to protect your eyes so you want to make sure that you wear sunglasses and if on a warm day, it's your day off, you don't have to work or it's your holiday, plan your day. So if you have to do activities, you cannot avoid it or you really want to do stuff, do it like in the morning when it's not too warm or uh, wait on it if, if it's possible, of course, in the evening when it's a little bit cooler. When you have to exercise or you really heat up, a good tip is that if you drown, a towel into the water and you lay it in your neck it really cools you down immediately in the winter when you're cold if you put something warm in the neck it will heat you up so in the summer uh, if you uh, put something cold water uh, drawn in cold water in your neck it really makes you relief Another good tip is like if you travel and you don't have an airco, I learned it one only recently and it's so cool, you can make your own airco. If you have like frozen water or whatever type of drinks and you put it in, this, uh, in front of the ventilator, it actually works uh, like a sort of airco. So you can really very easy create a, some kind of airco. How cool is that? And of course, uh, on a warm day, it's always nice to have a shower. 
Uh, I know it's very tempting that you want to take a, a cold shower, that you really uh, cool down your body, but it's actually a little bit better to uh, eat, uh, how you say it, um, tepid water, so not really cold. Because uh, afterwards, if you really cool your body down, it goes too quickly and it actually starts heating up more uh, quicker afterwards. So it's actually better not to take an ice cold shower, but just like a regular temperature shower. And the last tip on surviving a heat wave or a hot weather day, there's nothing you can do against it. So keep cool, keep relaxed and make the best out of it. Because if you really get annoyed by it or frustrated or complain about it, it actually also heats up the temperature of your body. So it makes it actually worse. I hope these tips that I gave you will make it better on you to survive a hot day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch my other videos. And from here I say, let's explore the world together.